Police are searching right now for a person they say hit one of their officers and then drove away. This is the second officer involved hit and run in less than a week. And 13 Action News reporter Sean Delancey right now is live at this latest scene with how exactly you could help police here, Sean. Yeah, Trisha Todd, a Metro police officer tried to pull a car over right over here this morning. You can still see the lines left by investigators and all of the broken glass marking the spot where the driver police say backed into the officer and his motorcycle before speeding away. A destroyed Metro police bike hit police say intentionally by a person officers pulled over moments before. It's a nightmare traffic stop, according to retired Metro police Sergeant Richard Strader through FaceTime, but not unexpected. It's scary because you just don't know what you're walking up on. He says domestic violence calls and traffic stops are the two most dangerous duties for police because officers are often going in without knowing who they're dealing with. Police tracked the car they say was used to back into their officer, a dark colored Mercedes SUV, but didn't find the driver. Strader says a clean getaway for now could lead to more problems. We always start worrying about copycats. We start worrying about people saying, oh, look it, we can get away with this. All we got to do is try to, to ram these police officers. This is the second officer involved hit and run that police are calling intentional in six days. The first called intentional because of a revving engine caught on a highway patrol body cam just before the impact. Strader says an officer's every move on traffic stops are a result of training designed to keep them safe, but that can break down when you don't know what you're dealing with. We won't know until they catch these knuckleheads who did these to the police officers, um, what, what, their, what their thought process was and if there was anything that they had done prior to this. Both officers were taken to the hospital and are expected to be okay. And you can help bring these suspects in. As Strader says, somebody always knows something. If you can help police, go ahead and give them a call. Sean Delancey, 13 Action News.